in this part of the data modeling series we are going to discuss one to one relationships how to model those though we have already seen in previous sections but this is the complete detail with one example here embed the document into the main document as we are already aware embedding can reduce the number of read operations from the different collections we will be able to read one collection in case all the data is there embedded in the single collection versus if the data is there in two collection either we will have to use dollar lookup or we will have to query multiple times so this is the example customer document address document there are two documents after embedding this is assumed that customer is having one address combined id name and address is merged into that it is embedded embedding challenges what could be the embedding challenges have you given a thought of to it that what could be the embedding challenges the document size can become large right it could be so large that it will lead to performance issues for example in case let us say customer is having three four addresses right and then in some other case product is having multiple reviews or movie is having a multiple reviews right so that way the document size can grow very huge the query may get unwanted data so some of the developers may fetch all the data in that case the data size which is being returned from the database it will go it will go too high potential solution now we have discussed challenges wherever there is a challenge there could be a solution also possible solution move the least access required data to a new collection so that i am going to explain in next slide that what does it mean so this is the large document here to model one to one relationships using embedded document style i am going to introduce subset pattern so if you see here this is the example which is showing that data in a single document may grow very large now what to do if you notice here reviews are there reviews it is only showing one review from but it is an array it there could be 10 thousands of reviews or hundreds of reviews right but we do not want to fetch all the reviews in a single go right what should we do in that case subset pattern comes to our rescue move list frequently data into another collection for example we can have top 5 reviews which have been submitted maybe we can sort it by date in the collection or we can keep only last 5 reviews and move rest of the reviews into the separate collection for reviews and in future whatever review is coming we will store it in the collection and move one review from that collection into the other collection so this logic you will have to implement at the application level because it cannot be automatic at the database level it leads to the performance improvement so that in case we want all the reviews right then we can any time we can fetch data from other collection which is having all the data there also we can fetch in the pagination view for previous example create two collections like one for reviews to return with the product data second is one for all of the leftover data reviews right that i just explained mm -hmm.